How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some subscriber clips. We're going to be doing the burnout and donut competition. So remember to vote in the comments which one was your favorite. If you want to send clips, send them to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. I have some random clips mixed in as well, just some other clips that were pretty entertaining that you guys sent me of your guys' cars. Don't forget to buy some merch. Let's dive right in. All right, so this first clip is legit a whole ass orchestra. We got a 350 doing donuts around an infinity. The infinity, I have a feeling the driver is incapable of doing donuts, so he just decided, hey man, I'm gonna do the next best thing. I'm just gonna throttle down the whole time and just try to pop my exhaust as many times as possible. So it's the best of both worlds. We got backfire clip with a donut clip. The 350 is doing some pretty nice donuts. Uh, it's really sketch going around a car like that. You know, a lot of things can go wrong really quick like that. You know, if he would have. If he would have gone straight to the rear of that infinity that would have not ended so well it would have been some good content for me but now if they were both in tandem doing this that would have been a lot better but like i said i have a feeling the infinity driver is just uh i don't know either incapable or he, he didn't want to risk it he was a little scared so props to you 350 infinity you're not doing a whole lot there except for you know shooting a little bit of flames but uh that's 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 not as cool as the 350 right here all right let's move on all right, so I don't even know what's about to happen, but I'm already disappointed. I'm sorry. I'm already disappointed. We got a Honda. What is he going to do? This has to be the sorriest donuts I have ever seen. I know he's got the skid plates underneath the rear. It's a front-wheel drive car, obviously. I mean, you should be doing some elegant, easy-ass donuts. This is just sad. This is just this is sad to watch right here. I'm sorry. I know it's fun. I know he's having a great time. Because uh, he's never going to be able to experience this without Honda for the, in the real world. But uh, it's just the sound. It's so quiet. The sound is so quiet. He's not even going hard. Like, you know, fuck it. I'd fucking... Look at all this open space right here. Whip that bitch hard. None of this sorry ass shit right here. Look at this. Look how slow he's going. Your front wheel drive. You have all the control in the world. Like, he's not even whipping hard. Wow. I've seen front wheel drive cars do better donuts without skid plates. All right. Well... Here's your second contender, guys. Uh, <laughs> so far, I think the 350 is in the lead. But uh, this does look like fun. I'm not going to lie. But I don't know. It doesn't, like, uh, doesn't look like he's going too hard. All right. Next up, we got a racing clip between a GT500, I believe a CTSV, and a Z06. I believe it's a CTSV. That has sketch written all over it. Now, the email said that the driver of the GT500 said that his tire popped. So we're going to break this down frame by frame and look for a tire pop. We have the other side too, so don't worry. We got both sides covered. Let's look to see if his tire pops, okay? We're going to go. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, he's going. I don't see a tire pop. Okay, he started losing traction. Did not see his driver's side tires pop on either of them. So, I mean, you would, you would tell. I mean, this whole thing would deflate real quick. So I don't know. I do not see a tire, a tire pop right here. So very close. Did not. I thought he hit that bitch. I thought straight up he fucking kissed that caddy. But nope, did not hit the Cadillac. Thank God. Got out of there real quick. I mean, they're they're going really fast right here. Obviously, this is in Mexico, so they are doing some legal shit. They are out of country. All right. So here we got the other side of the GT500 race. Look at his tire. Keep a close eye on his rear tire. I don't see a bitch pop right here. I think either he snapped an axle or he broke loose. I mean. Even then, I mean, look it. There's no pop. He just fucking heat seeked right into that Cadillac. Thank God that car did not get hit because that would have been so sad. A GT500 looked great. I don't know if it survived that crash. It looks like a really nice car. Okay, I like the color a lot. Uh, it kind of looks like my car at night. But um, I mean, I didn't see a tire pop. I'm gonna try to pause it right when that shit happens. Uh, they're doing a 60 roll, which is always fun. You know, they have some high horsepower cars, obviously, trying to hook as best they can. Here, I'm gonna back this up a little bit. All right, he's already breaking loose right here. Tire is still intact. You would know. You would see. I've seen a tire blow up on the highway. You can tell. There's debris going everywhere. There's a big cloud of smoke. You can tell, okay? His tire did not pop. He's lying. Either, I don't know, maybe he got some debris under his tire and just lost traction or something, but he did not blow his tire. He is a liar. Next, burnout competition challenger. Literally a challenger. Wow. 
wasn't bad wasn't bad the audio sucked uh don't know if it's a six banger kind of sounds like a six banger but also it is formed in portrait mode which sucks ass ladies and gentlemen do not film in portrait mode i know you guys are sending some from snapchat and shit like that but uh just makes my video a whole lot uglier if you guys send me shit in portrait mode so i apologize for you guys having to see that audio sucked um the smoke though smoke was good it's nice thickness of that smoke okay it, you would be mistaken for a vaping competition just looking at this thing i mean look at that cloud that's a good cloud right there six cylinder or not that's a good cloud that's respect right there so we got our first contender for the burnout competition starting out strong i like that okay All right, now I'm just gonna place a bet. I'm betting these are stock tires, stock wheels. They look like stock wheels, but I'm betting those are stock tires. There's something about stock tires, I don't know. I could just tell just by listening to them. That sounds like a stock tire to me. That sounds like an all-weather tire. That does not sound like a summer tire. That sounds like an all-weather tire to me. Now, they might not be stock tires. I could be wrong, but I'm just saying, that sounds like a stock tire to me. It sounds like a stock SFRS too, but uh, <clears throat> just my own personal experience. You can tell when someone's on stock tires when they're doing donuts. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like those are stock tires. But overall, donut quality, pretty good. Nice smoke. The audio, I just, you know, the tires screeching and everything. It just sounds like a stock tire to me. But uh, uh, I don't know if I'm just crazy for thinking that. Maybe I am. Comment down below. But uh, good smoke. Good donuts. Did not crash. Surprised this FRS actually was breaking loose. We know how weak they are. But overall, a solid contender. I think the uh, 350 is still in the lead for donuts just because he was doing it around an actual object. And it was a car at that. So that's really impressive. This guy's just going kind of all over the place. It's fun. But uh, I think the 350 is still in the lead. Let me know what you guys think. Now that is some scary ass shit, I'm not gonna lie, that is some spooky ass shit right there. I feel like once that tail starts dragging, it's gonna get caught and you're gonna do a flip. Look at that, straight up 12 o'clock wheelie. Impressive shit right there, man, impressive shit. You've got some balls of steel. You're not tipping over because those balls are weighing you down. Those shits are some nice balancing points right there. It's like, what, what, what do they call them? It's your gyro point or your, I don't know, center of gravity right there, your nutsack. All right, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we might have a new leader for the burnout competition, this Chevy Camaro SS, absolutely laying it down. Look at that smoke, doing a little crab walk too? That's some nice shit right there. That is some nice shit. A nice front angle of that would have looked sick. Look at all that smoke. Holy shit, looks like a SpaceX rocket ship just shot into the sky. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Now that is what I call a streak right there. Holy shit. Fuck your Snapchat streaks right there. You need to lay down some real streaks. Oh my god. We have a new winner. At least he's in the lead right now. Chevy Camaro SS. Good shit, man. <laughs> So we got a clip of a Mustang GT doing a donut, or a few donuts at that. Um, we hear his girlfriend cheering him on in the background. Now, I don't know, if she was a true supporter and she trusted you, I think she'd be a little bit closer to your Mustang. She's a bit far away, I don't know, maybe she's seen you do some sketchy shit before, because she is what? She's like, she's down the street damn near, I mean this guy's zooming in on you. Holy crap, um, I don't know, if she really trusted you, she'd be a lot closer to your Mustang. I mean, it is a Mustang, we all know that, and I don't know, there, there's something catching my eye right here. Let me know what you guys see. Um, this does look like a GT Mustang, and I don't know why. This badge right here just doesn't look like a GT badge. It looks like there's something more there. I don't know what else it could be, but uh, there's this one 
there's this one shot where it looks like a snake almost. I almost see like an S right here. Now I might be tripping. I might be tripping, but I don't know. Is that a Shelby badge right there? I I don't know. I can't tell from from my view, but this does not look like a Shelby to me. Um, the the front end of it is just completely wrong. So I don't know if it is a Shelby badge. I don't know if he has like a Decepticon badge or something like that. But uh, his badge is a little bit uh, it's a little bit wacky. It's this shot right here where I'm just like that doesn't look like a GT to me. I might be tripping, but I don't see a GT. I see some a little bit bigger. So let me know what you guys see. Uh, good shit though overall. Nice donuts. I still think the 350 is in the lead. Let's move on. <laughs> Rip up that e-brake and let your tires smoke. It is 420, everyone. Smoke tires, not drugs. This guy's doing the best he can in his front-wheel drive Honda. He, he let a little bit of smoke out, okay? His tires didn't have all that much meat on there to actually burn. So, you know, he's got he's to stay, keep it a daily driver. You know, got to keep the uh, the tread on there. Um, good stuff. You know, it's nice to see a little project car coming together. I hope this is a project car. Uh, I hope you're not driving around like this. But uh, honestly, I, you know, obviously the Camaro is still in the lead. But it's nice to see people having fun with their cars. Let's move on. For a one-wheel peel, that was pretty impressive. I'm not even gonna lie. That was pretty impressive. One-wheel peel with that much smoke? That Honda in the last video had two wheels spinning, and he couldn't even do that. Look at that smoke. It almost doesn't even look like a one-wheel peel. I mean, the only reason why I know is because, one, in the email he told me, and two, you only see one tire mark, you don't see another one, so it is, in fact, a one-wheel peel, but it was a really impressive one at that. Camaro still in the lead, though. So I don't know what happened at the end there, okay? They got a little uh, riled up right there, but uh, I can smell the video through my computer screen. I can smell it. I don't know why. The first time I was watching this clip, I was like, dude, I smell rubber. I don't know. I was tripping. My, I was just that into the video where I was just staring at it for so long that my mind was just like, dude, you're at the car show right now. He wanted those tires to turn from a solid to a goddamn liquid. He was just holding it. The smoke was impressive, okay? Now, we're at a really close shot, so I can't see all of the smoke that they are creating. They, they do some little disappearing act right here where they disappear pretty much completely. Honestly, this looks like some sort of magician act right here because the cars, just, they're, they're all gone. They all vanish. Imagine the smoke disappears and everyone's just gone. Now, that'd be some creepy-ass shit right there. That's the starting of a movie right there. I'm going to write it. It's going to be called The Car Meet. Uh, it's going to be a horror movie. Uh, if you guys pre-order your tickets now, it's going to start like that. Uh, at the end of the movie, though, he's going to wake up in a hospital. It turns out he just had a concussion, and he was in a coma. He got hit by a Mustang, and uh, it's just a little plot twist right there. So I kind of spoiled it for you guys. I'm sorry, but pre-order your tickets now. All right, here we go. The last contender of today's video, the Charger. Will he be able to beat out the Camaro SS for the podium? Let's see. Vote down below. This for sure is a hard decision. I'm not gonna lie, this is a hard decision. First of all, I thought this bitch was black right here. Turns out this bitch is orange. Second of all, I really love the look of when they're walking past the taillights. I really love that look with the smoke going right in front of them. That is such a cool look right there. That looks really nice, I'm not gonna lie. He does a lot of smoke, holds it really nice. It looks like he's got damn near line lock on. 
This is really impressive right here, okay? You guys gotta vote. You guys have to vote. Camaro or Charger? I don't know. I'm tied between both of them right here, okay? I liked how the, the Camaro was doing a crab walk. I liked how he was moving. But this Charger is just holding it down. Not moving, not budging. And then he does a nice little pull away just to, just to fucking top it off. I mean, look at that. Look at that smoke right there. Rocket ship. Absolute rocket ship. So you guys gotta vote down below. I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. Please let me know which car won in your guys' eyes. I say the 350 for the donuts for sure, but I don't know. I don't know about the burnout competition. It's a tie right now between the Camaro and the Charger. Let me know, American Muscle holding it down. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, join the flock, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you can flock to the videos with everyone else. Until next video, peace.